Some people don't like ballet, but I used to take, oh, well, I still do. I used to love ballet so much, but then I stopped. But before I stopped, I got this book. And it's about a girl who, named Tula, really wants to dance, but, and she wants her tutu, but she doesn't get one because she needs to practice her dancing. And then at the end, I'll tell you what happens. In the book, of course. So let's start by Marilyn Singer. Singer, illustrations by Alexandra Boager. First position, second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position. Back. Tula just knew she could be a great ballerina. If only she had a tutu. And maybe a lesson or two, her mother said with a wink. So the next day, Tula went to her very first ballet class. The kids wore leotards and pink tights, all except one. He had on black pants. A boy in ballet? Well, he won't get a tutu. Tula giggled. Are you with us, Tula? Asked her teacher. Tula decided she'd be, she'd better pay p attention. She watched closely. She turned out her feet and curved her hands near her hips in first position. She bent her knees in a plie, plie. She did it perfectly. I am an excellent ballerina, she thought, and soon I'll get my, a tutu. At the end of class, the teacher told them what a good job they'd done. Tula waited for her tutu, but instead she got a hug. Good job, her teacher said. Tula decided that her tutu, tutu must be coming from Paris. They would fly in next week. Tutu to the go. Tula practiced every day. Look at my beautiful arms, she said on the way to class. Look at my beautiful finish. She grinned a big grin as she stood at the bar. What color tutu do you want? She asked the girl in front of her. I want lavender, she pointed to some September asters blooming outside the window. Tula looked in the mirror. Can you make your back straighter, her teacher said. Tula, Tula could. She jumped her heels apart to second position. She pointed her toe in a tondu. She circled her foot on the floor in a round de jambe. I am a fabulous ballerina, Tula told herself. I'm going to get at my tutu right after class. But this time, all she got was a kiss on the top of her head. Keep it up, Tula. You're doing well, said her teacher. 
Tula figured the delivery truck broke down. Her Tushi must be stuck in New Jersey. They would drive it in next week. At home, Tula showed her mother everything she learned. Her little brother ba Beckett watched. Then she practiced some more. At her third lesson, she could hardly keep still. One, two, three, one, two, three. She sang to the boy next to her. A tunic for you, a tutu for me. She whirled around and bumped his leg. Tula, stay in your own space, please, her teacher said. Whoops, Tula said. She shifted one foot in front of the other in third position. She put one foot against her other knee in a passe. She did a releve by standing on her toes. I'm the best ballerina in the world, Tula said to herself. Today, I'll get my tutu for sure. But there was no tutu for Tula. No tutu at all. Where is it? Where is it? She asked her teacher. Where is what? My tutu! Tula's teacher leaned down and put her arm around her. You have to wait a while, Tula. It takes time, a lot of practice to earn your tutu. Tula stamped her foot. It did not feel good to do that in a ballet slipper. That's not fair, she cried. A ballerina needs a tutu and she needs it now. Tula decided she wasn't going to practice any more ballet. She told her mother that she wasn't going to show her any more steps and she wasn't going to go to class ever again. Really, said her mother, but I thought you loved ballet. I love ballet, said Beckett, even though he'd never taken a class. Well, I don't. I'm not even going to think about ballet anymore, Tula declared. Everything kept reminding Tula of ballet. Her neighbor, Bassett Hound, always stood in second position. The kitchen clock constantly performed round, round de jean. The serving spoon at dinner was for, forever doing tendus. And everywhere she went, Tula couldn't help dancing ballet. She always did a plie when she patted the neighbor's dog and she couldn't go by a store window without doing a beautiful finish or pass a park bench without using it as a bar. Then one day in the supermarket, she hardly tinkly music over the loudspeaker. It was the same music the pianist played in her class. Tula couldn't stop herself. Passe, releve, tendu. She did them all. She pirouet, pirouet around the store. When she finished, the shoppers applauded, except for one girl. She was wearing a lavender tutu. I want to dance like you, like that, she said. I've already got the tutu. Maybe you need a lesson or two, or 22, Tula said. And lots of practice as well. She took, she looked at her mother and winked.
The next day, she went back to class. I'm glad to see you, Tula, said her teacher. Tula beamed. I'm glad to see you, too, she said. Then she took her place at the bar. I am a very, very good dancer, she thought, and I will get my tutu someday. And she did, except it wasn't lavender. It was as red as the roses blooming that June. I hope you guys love that book. See you next time.